Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in probably the easiest game of the year so far, Feather. Uh, now this is a game developed and published by Samurai Punk and is available to you for just £8.39 normally. Now I say this is the easiest game of the year because there is no enemies, there's nothing to collect, it's a simple case of enjoying relaxing times while getting a few of the easiest and trophies the easiest achievements and trophies even you will get this year so what you'll do is follow me as we go down one sort of long path collecting grabbing what we need to fulfill all achievements now this should take you no longer than 20 minutes and I'll explain why in just a little bit but saying that let us begin and you get an achievement straight away just for starting the game you know which is always a pleasure unless the game is like a solid 9 or 10 out of 10 and the instant regret flows through you like diarrhea from takeaway food um, so, but do note you do start off with the inverted controls on so if you don't like pressing down button which results you in flying up and vice versa I advise just to switch that off so you would have done just the tutorial as well there the sort of X in flipping doing barrel rolls etc now you see this sort of kind of looks like a magnifying glass on top of a hill we are going to be heading for that first before we carry on um, there's a few throughout the sort of island but it's just easier you know just get it done out of the way first so there we go it sort of plays like a musical note or something something so serene and beautiful and sexy but when you do that flip right around and you'll see on the right hand side of the island you'll see like some sort of pipes and things sticking out of a river or the sea so that is where we're going um yeah so Oh, by the way, I've nicknamed this bird KFC because depends on what part of the world you come from, birds like this normally end up in a KFC bucket, including my local one. But but anyway, that's for a different <laughs> that is for a different story and a different time altogether. So we have now hit the pipes and we'll be looking f at the rocks on the left hand side. You can just see like a portal, what looks like a portal in the rocks on the left hand side there. Press the left trigger to slow down as to not smash yourself into a rock. You can't die anyway, but... So this is where we're going. So we're heading through there. That gives us another achievement and just transports us up. Now all we're going to be doing is doing a... Um, uh, we're just going to be diving into the water, but I can't think of any Olympic divers. Tom Daly. Yeah, that's how much I know the sport. Sorry. We're going to be doing a Tom Daly Olympic dive. Abs out, ass out, straight into the sea. Bam! That is an easy 10 out of 10 uh, diarrhea kind of move there. But that unlocks us another achievement. Happy days. Now, obviously, we'll turn around because we've got nowhere to go. And we're going to be sort of uh, sticking with this side of the rocks, going past the sort of portal thing we went past earlier, as you can see there on the right. Uh, we'll need to eat some fruit next. And you can only get it from specific trees. And it is basically just up ahead of us, so... You know, nice and easy. Uh, so it's just past these colourful looking trees right here. So slow down right about now. And you can already see they're like oranges or whatever the hell they are. Now, I, my advice would be go uh, to go through the middle. For some reason I went through the sort of left hand side one right here and what I ended up doing was kind of getting my ass stuck but I've left this bit in <laughs> to show you that you actually can get out so don't worry if it looks like it's glitching the hell out you can either press the Y button or the triangle button to flip it and you might get out that way or just keep trying to fly out <laughs> uh, through the trees but we do get out eventually so and why I say sort of go through the middle bit is because we need to be going into a cave which is di again directly in front of us so if you haven't grabbed one already grab a bit of fruit here and as you can see just a little hole in the wall there is a cave that we will be nipping ourselves into now it's not just as straightforward as that there's a couple of turns we have to take so straight here at the first fork and then there's going to be a left coming up right here and you're sort of heading down what look like mushrooms and uh, diamonds and things like that. Take another left right here. Slow down. Take another left here before you hit the blue crystals. And then it's just a nice, simple, straightforward path from now for our KFC. 
but slow down. We need to be slowing down right here. You can just see like a little totem pole or something in front of us. Slow down and try and land on it. That gets us the grounded achievement. You can't, these are the only things that you can really uh, land on. And the landing can be kind of tricky. Um, I apparently did it, but there we go. So just slow down and then try and park your KFC butt, your zinger meal right over it. Otherwise, we can just move on and just go forward straight for a moment. And then head to the left now when you get to the dead end. And by the way, the music is, is pretty stunning in this, I, I've got to be honest. It is a very enjoyable, relaxing game. So, you know, if, if you've wanted to kill someone in work, this is probably the game for you. So now we come to this area. Again, this is uh, the sort of music musical note thing we got earlier on, if you didn't get it. But just fly basically straight ahead of you from where that musical note thing was. And we're heading to the sort of, sort of left right now. And there's going to be a portal that we are going through, which will transport us. Obviously, that's what transporters do, apart from if you're Jason Statham. But it's going to transport us to another island. And we are basically almost done with the game now. Um, just a few more things to do and then... So you see the um, like big tree on the very left hand side. That is where we're heading for now. So just fly straight up towards there. And the reason why this game actually only takes 20 minutes is because there, in a, there is an achievement called Passing the Time. Where literally you've just got to play for 20 minutes. So... Yeah, it is as easy as that. Otherwise, the rest of the achievements we can get done in 10 minutes. So just fly, 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 KFC. And directly in front of us, just below us, you can see like a triangle. Um, looks like one of those um, one, uh, triangle chocolates you get in a quality street or something. But fly through that, and that gets us another achievement. And we turn into goddamn beautiful whiteness. And It's, so, it's always something so beautiful about a white bird. I do like birds, the the um, feathered kind, and the female kind, <laughs> get it, <laughs> funny, anyway, not very funny, but we're flying straight up through a cloud now to get us another achievement, so directly from where you got the, uh, flew through the triangle, fly straight up, fly through the cloud, and now we can head for the big ominous looking tree, again we need to slow down around uh, right around here because we will be flying into the nest and there you go I got the achievement even before smashing my face into it so there we go then that is literally now the majority of the achievements done so all we've got to do is wait for 20 minutes or say roughly about 13 to 14 minutes and you, you literally don't even have to do anything you can just leave the controller go and the bird will just uh, KFC sorry forgot his epic nickname and yeah so what he'll do is basically just sort of fly about you literally don't have to do anything you can go for a 30 minute poo if you really wanted and you will get the achievement without actually having to worry so there we go one achievement left uh, obviously I'm not going to be showing you the rest uh, you know 13 40 minutes but what I am going to do is happily tell you some bird jokes because pff, why not and it's hilarious for just for just a minute anyway all right then so yeah just just for a minute i'll do you a solid so let's see why couldn't anyone see the bird because it was in disguise 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 pa it's not that funny uh actually that's not bad what kind of birds do you usually find locked up jailbird uh that one just reminds me of snake from the simpsons Little dudes. What kind of math do birds like? Algebra. <laughs> Girl. One of my ex-boyfriends sounds like an owl. Boy. Ooh. Huh? Who? Who? Hoot? Ah. Hmm. God damn, these are these are terrible. What language? <laughs> what language do geese speak? Portuguese. <laughs> Oh, right then, that's enough, because we are coming up to the achievement now. I've left it. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. They were just... I hate myself for telling you those. I'm so sorry, you guys. Wasting your time and all. But that is that then, boys and girls, guys and gals, beauties and beautifulnesses. 
literally, honestly, the easiest game of the year by far. So, yeah, I, you know, I hope this guy did help. Um, <laughs> again, you probably could have got it by yourself, having a nice, enjoyable, relaxing time. But, again, I hope this guide has helped. If it has, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We always have a good laugh along the way, even if I do tell you just awful, goddamn awful jokes. Yeah, pretty moon, too. But, obviously, don't forget to check me out on my socials again. Twitter, Instagram, Patreon... Also, if you go on Twitter, I am going to start doing weekly giveaways once again. So make sure to find me there. All the links and stuff will be provided in the description below. Big shout out to TimG84 for continuing fantastically. And thank you so much for continuing to support the show and the channel on Patreon. But that is that then, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.